Your Flows. Thus proceeds the journey of transformation. Thus began the journey of transformation from life to light, from alpha to omega. First slowly, with so many doubts, lurking behind my conscious mind. Unconsciousness still continued to play the significant role, but the communion, both silent and in words, slowly and slowly continued. In that light, in that energy, many conflicts began to recede like the defeated army. Now from Alpha Point moved the journey towards the period of introspection with the search both within and without begins. This is the period of acceptance and adjustments etc. I began to understand many simple questions that life asks on a day-to-day -day basis. I realized love is an unseen but realized truth. Love is energy. Energy remains invisible but we see its effect. When this energy begins to work at different points, you see the manifestation. Just as electric current remains invisible, but you see its effect. When electric current walks through the stove, you see its manifestation. When it operates through the electric bulb, you see its manifestation. And when it operates through the instrument of your television, you see its effect. In the same way, when this energy, which we know as love and say it unseen but realize truth, it begins to operate through your mind, there is a flow of, constant flow of thoughts, when it operates at other centers, when it operates through the heart, there is different kind of manifestation. And so, therefore, love is an unseen but realized truth. We are not aliens as strangers join. We are bound to each other by a causeless force that we know as love. Just as all the electrical appliances in your house, be it a stove, be it microwave or oven or your laptop or your phone, these are bound to each other by a causeless force that we know as electric current. So certain instruments need like your laptop, your iPhone, your smartphone needs electric current as well as, as, well as another device that is Wi-Fi. So love is that awakening. Love comes as wisdom that we neither care nor cherish. And that's where the problem arises of malfunctioning of your inner system. The author continues, I began to understand the energy which bridges or connects both life and light. Just as the electric current that is flowing in your house bridges everything that is there operating on the electrical principle. So in the house as far as men the people are concerned, everybody operates on that existential bioenergy principle. Once these operate properly and flow, then you can understand the energy which bridges or connects both life and light. This unseen yet realized truth is love 
and when love evolves out of the quicksand of emotions it gets wings to reach the vast sky and then it begins to float before love attains wings love has to pass through the dimension of sex the existential bioenergy and its various phases and aspects how it emerges from the origin when it is in frozen form then it begins to melt and flow through the planes of various aspects of relationships in the process something in the process sometimes it becomes turbulent other times it flows quietly this is most difficult phase in life in this phase the work in this phase of the work the author has dedicated seven chapters from chapter 4 to 10 to explain various aspects of sex and its role in the process of transformation or consciousness all under the guidance of her master at no point along the journey the author forgets the guidance from her master thereafter the author dedicates next seven chapters from chapter 11 to chapter 17 to relationships through these chapters the author explains various aspects of relationships how to relate under each situation is also explained during this period the focus is on the role of breathing and breath movement as an important therapeutic tool of healing it is significant to note during these two phases she has chosen seven chapters each numerically seven is a mystical number and both sex and relationships are mystical in nature both as therapy and healing sex is significant both as a therapy and healing it is a deep understanding how to harness and cleanse this existential bioenergy that we know as sex when the flow of this energy is disturbed it causes many problems at alchemical and emotional levels the flow of oxytocin hormone an important hormone also known by other names the love hormone the cuddle hormone or bonding hormone is disturbed oxytocin is released during childbirth and breastfeeding it helps it plays a key factor in the bond between parents and infant it flows both in men and women differently and later this bond continues life long and as the name suggests oxytocin plays an important part in human bonding and harmonizing this existential bioenergy yoga music massage meditation sex hugging kissing cuddling and sexual intimacy can all trigger oxytocin production which can strengthen bond between adults as well these effects have led oxytocin to be grouped with other happy hormones known to have a positive impact on moods and emotions it is important to understand however that oxytocin does not magically change your behavior it does not make you trust or fall in love with someone in an instant both trust feeling of love gets impetus through this hormone but it can boost feeling of love contentment security 
and trust towards someone you already care for. Your body produces oxytocin naturally, but if you want to feel the love, so to speak, the author indirectly focuses on these natural ways to increase the release of oxytocin. Many start the journey, but only rarely one reaches to this state. Then for the first time, the author continues, you experience another dimension of love. It is a free flow. It has two aspects. The first is compassion on the part of the awakened one. And the other is the aspect of trust. Trust is on the part of the seeker and compassion is on the part of the awakened one. Then trust becomes the reflecting media. Whatsoever, whatever questions arise on the inner horizon of the seeker, the answer comes like a miracle even without any effort. It is a new beginning. I was lucky to have the communion of Tao, thus continues the author. During these sessions, Tao responded to questions like what is life, what is relation, what is meant by relationships, how to relate, various levels of sex, understand sex. The author assures that there is much more that forms the subject matter of this work. I am sure it will help you as it did to me. Through this work, with the support and inspiration of Tao, I share with you what I learned and penned as personal notes, so that you can continue your journey from the point where you are stuck and lost your way towards a life of bliss and harmony. From chapter 18 onwards, the last phase of Omega Light begins. The author explains her own experience during the process of journey through the vehicle of this work. Chapters like Life in the book Life, Love and Light, wherein the person enters as master. Master the mystery of the unknown and master the pulse of cosmos and master mothers you are important chapters or explanations. These are her own personal experiences in the company of her master that continues to share through various phases of the work, life, where the, you have to understand the existential bioenergy and living love where which forms the major part of the body of the woo and lastly the omega where the significance of the blossoming happens and how love in the form of existential bioenergy through sex and relationship connects the two shows, life and love. This is what she has focused on through this work. Enough for now.